this is our task clone tutorial on how to schedule events in your Google Calendar. We have to admit this is one of our favorite features and uh, it's part of our premium only plans but we think it's very cool. Uh, and so what you'll see is a typical note in Evernote from a meeting and at the bottom we have a task that we've already cloned and it has the skip code in front of it so it doesn't get cloned again. Uh, and then below that we have an event to schedule. Uh, notice that it starts with the word schedule and a colon and then a space. And that's important because it tells Task Clone that this is an event that needs to be scheduled. Uh, and the rest of it is a standard what you would write uh, in your event in Google Calendar. Meeting to prepare quarterly report on next Tuesday from 12 to 2 p.m. at Stan's office. Uh, and then Stan's email address. Now Stan is no longer stressing because he has Task Clone, but he still has the same name. So let's see how we get this into Google Calendar. We click the pencil to edit, click at the front of the schedule, hit the checkbox, and click done. And that's it. This item has now been sent to your Google Calendar, and let's go take a look and see what we got. Uh oh, we go to Google Calendar, we don't see anything. Ah, because we said next Tuesday. All right, well, let's go see you next Tuesday. Uh, and if we look at next Tuesday, we don't see it again. Wonder what happened there. So now we've refreshed the screen. Now go to next Tuesday, and there you have it. Uh, and so here's our meeting. It's already been scheduled on next Tuesday from 12 to 2. We go in, and we see we've got the 12 to 2 time. It's located in Stan's office. And lo and behold, by putting the email, it's already invited Stan. And you can invite as many people as you like. You just put their emails at the end of uh, the task and it will know to send the invite to those folks. And that's how you use Google Calendar with Task Clone.